while we're young. Okay, we're back. This is our YouTube channel. This is his direction. He don't even go, go, cut. He just, here we go. That's my producer. Everybody has their own producing style. Dee Wallace is in the studio with us. And she's hey. produced a new bear, a self-esteem bear in all seriousness, to help our children understand that they all, each, are very, very special. Now, because you're, you're talking about self-esteem and uplifting children, this bear says seven, 14 different things. Yep. Right How here, did right you do here. You are so powerful. Yes, I am. Yes, yes I am. Yes, you are. And this, this one, you can put your own message. Oh, okay. In. Oh, I would be afraid to. Okay. No. I am beautiful. I am wonderful, and I am smart. Okay. I am beautiful, I am wonderful, and I am smart. Okay, and this Did would not be... Did you get that from a movie, I... by any chance? <laughs> you know, I think so. I, you know, I just... I love that. <laughs> I sat and watched that, and I went, oh my God, they're teaching what I teach. Okay, and, and that's what... And oh. each one of us must teach one of us. How we got to teach our kids. How were you able to get it down to just 14? That was hard. We started out with almost 30. Mm -hmm. But the chip is just so big. So uh, then I started looking at all the, the things, the issues that I deal mostly with in my private mm -hmm. sessions. And, and that's how we got down to the 14 what statements. Did, what are some of the, the bigger issues that you see repeatedly in your practice? Um, they see themselves as not worthy. Most of us see ourselves. Is not worthy. Maybe not that's y'all, but it ain't me. It's definitely not. I'm worth worthy. my weight in gold. Um, we think the world looks at us as less than we are. And so true. how are you going to create what you want if you think the world is looking at you as less than you are? So well, I've got to see me as great, but I've got to know the world sees me as great too. Do, should Body that look, issues. Should that really matter though? If you have you a bet. healthy sense of yourself. You bet. Because maybe it's me, and I know I'm psychologically. I don't want to throw my pearls before swine. And to I'm a, not going to throw to my pearls. But if you have the perspective that the world doesn't honor you and get you and think you're special, then you keep going, here, love me. Oh, love yeah, me, here's got, a pearl, you, love me, you. here's got a pearl. You. I understand, you know? I got that. No, you got to know that the universe is there to support you. And you first have to love you. So That's many right. people will put it out there, and especially You've women got to love and yourself. children. They're so busy trying to please the parents, the teacher, even their siblings, the neighbors, and they forget that even though you're a little person, you're still another human being, and you have a valid right to you your bet. feelings. One you of bet. the things I loved about my mother, who was really a crazy woman, because she was like she said, "I bought you here, I take you out." I was scared of my mother. Mm -hmm. She carried a load of thirty-eight with six teenagers, and she said, "Don't y'all too big for me to whoop? I'll pop a cap in one of you." So I left at seventeen, you know. But it gave me a and solid I'll, foundation. You made it to seventeen. Yeah. <laughs> wow, well, I, I was like late skid marks. Uh -oh. <laughs> Where was I gonna go? I had to go to college. But one of the things that she did, one of the great things that she allowed her six kids to do and all the other kids that she influenced was we could come and sit down and be able to talk to her yes, about everything. My could, mom too. You know, so there was that open dialogue when a lot of kids, yes. and especially, now, don't talk to me, don't ask me about that. You you're know, not but, worth it. You, your I, voice isn't worth it. Sit down, shut up, and do what I tell you to do. And they took, now, did, did your parents ever tell you, now, D, stay in a child's place? Oh yeah, but you knew oh, what yeah. your place was. But we were able to come out with the with our parents and sit down and yeah. say, "This is bothering me," or "This girl said this to me in school, and what do I do? And how can I, you know?" And fight the beauty that? about this little guy, the dream that I have for Bubbleopolu, is that he is going to instill this in children. So when the bully happens, you know they've got the tool inside them so that they can come out and go, no, wait, I'm not. I'm loved in this That's world, right. and I'm going to be very powerful. I am very powerful. You know, we were taught it's not what people call you, it's what you answer to. And if you answer to these negative connotations, you'll pull them into your system. And when people would say negative things to me, oh. I, I had a buffer, and I had a sharp, sharp <laughs> tongue, and they were like, oh, my yeah. God, don't say anything to her. She's going to cut you to shreds and won't even put a hand on it because I'm not a fighter. I'm a lover. Tell people how they can get this beautiful You can dinner. get this on my website at IamAMDWallace.com or go to Amazon, go to Toys, 
and put in Bupa, B-U-P-P-A, L-A-P-A-L-O-O. -O. We'll give you the link. We'll give you the link. And also, I want to let people know that you're going to be signing your book at the Story Fest in, at, with the Ventura Unified School District coming yep. up on October the 8th. And then again, in November 12th, you will be doing a Mystic Journey book signing. Yes. At, uh, For our book on Dandelion Tea that I wrote Mystic, with Keith Malinsky. With Keith Malinsky, is, they're going to be at the Mystic Journey bookstore. We'll post it all online. D. Wallace, it has been a joy. Oh, you know my what? Lord. I can't you even are, begin to tell you. You are truly a spiritual sister, and I'm so glad to share your spirit with Thank me you. and with our audience. Did I? May the universe continue to open up and conspire for your great success. Ladies and gentlemen, the incomparable D. Wallace. And babies, you know I love you, and there's not a ding dang doggone thing that any one of you can do about me loving you. Peace.